Yo, what's going on, you guys? I'm back, bringing you guys a double header. Um, this is my game against Rage Like a Boss. Any of you guys on Twitter, you guys know who he is. Um, I believe he helps design ebooks for Madden Turf, so he's definitely a solid opponent. Um, he hit me up on Friday night, last Friday, and he's like, Hey, do you have time for a coin game? And I was like, Sure. Um, he's just getting into Mutt. I think he was playing Regs a lot, so. His team isn't that good. I think it's like an 87, 88 overall, something like that. Uh, my team's a 91 overall, so I do have the slight advantage on teams. But, you know, he has that talent. And, oh my goodness, what was I thinking? I thought it was a zone. He manned up. Uh, he definitely makes his adjustments real quick. So that is a horrible way to start the game. Uh, he has this little Danny Woodhead right here that is a little glitch. So he just keeps abusing him. These little spin moves, look at that. And he is hard to bring down. Um, he also knows how to do this. That thing is really hard to stop. I have to get lucky. Watch. There's literally nothing I could do about it. Um, so let's just say this guy knows the ins and outs of Madden. Um, really, really solid opponent. Um, I hope you guys, a lot of you guys came over from Cookie Boy. I really appreciate the shout out that I got from him. But look at this. We're going to take it all the way. Let's go. Um, nice little break for us. I hate playing offense, so, you know, that makes my job easier. I love playing defense. I love setting the tempo on defense and uh, just working that way. But here we go. Um, oh, my God. I hit him so hard. I hit, knocked my own guy out. But uh, here we go. We are going to try to contain him. It's going to be really hard. Uh, that would ha I mean, he has a solid scheme. He has a solid scheme, and I'm still trying to figure out how he plays. And look at this Derek Carr, though. Look at that dot. Thank God he drops it. Um, so actually something interesting is going to happen in between. This is going to be a double header. We're going to run it back. But um, <laughs> he wanted Michael Vick. And right there, how did he hang on to that? I, Oh my god, I snapped that perfectly with Earl Thomas down the middle. But uh, you guys see, this Danny Woodhead is a problem. He is a problem. And uh, we are trying to contain him. And oh my goodness, those spins. And there's nothing I could do about it. I get, like I'm trying to hit him perfectly. And just that spin. And my dude just completely misses. Nothing I can do about that. So we're going to bring some heat, try to pressure him a little bit, see if his line breaks down. Holding up pretty good right there. I don't, do you guys see that little glitch? Earl Thomas somehow teleported backwards when I was going for the pick. Right there, great drop by his guy. So he settles for the field goal. So we get the ball back. If we're holding him to field goals, I'm happy. And right here, we saw him press down, and you do not press down on Julio. Here we go. Another easy score. That's what I like to see. I hate offense. So easy scores are always great. So we're still trying to bring pressure. Right there, we get it off the edge. We stop him in his tracks. And uh, we're just trying to get something right here. He's looking, he's looking. And how in the hell did he see that guy? Um, that was my man. He disappeared off to the side. I couldn't see him anymore. So I was working back towards the middle of the field in case he uh, redirects some of his guys. And that guy came out of nowhere. Um... I mean, hey, beats me. Great inside juke by him right there, though. And uh, he's he's moving the ball. He's moving and grooving. Um, I don't remember. I believe I get ball after halftime. So, I mean, I just got to contain him. If, if he's going to score, then hopefully I come back and score, too. Right there, Earl Thomas, you got to die for that. You got to get that interception for me. Because look at, oh, my goodness. It's like these little routes that you think would be easy to stop. But, you know, him with a solid scheme right there goes back to the same thing. Um Really hard to stop. Really hard to stop. He uh, definitely knows the ins and outs of this game. And right here, God, that Emmanuel Sanders, I'm telling you. I got lucky, pulled him in a pack. Right here, I saw him baiting down with his free safety, and I dot him up the middle. So I score in two plays again. Um, so we're, we're not struggling too much on offense, which is good. Uh, usually, offense is not my strong suit. I love playing defense. Um, if you guys saw my coin game against Cookie Boy, if not, go check that out. Subscribe to him. But I highly doubt that any of you guys are here that don't know who Cookie Boy is. But uh, me and him, oh, right there, Don Terry Poe, react on that. But me and him had a really solid game. Uh, he was scoring on me because I was giving him the ball in the red zone. Uh, just stupid interceptions, great plays by his defense. If you guys really look at it, though, he wasn't driving on me either. I held him to field goals. But, you know, still, Cookie Boy is a hell of an opponent. I believe he beat GS earlier this year, too. Um, you guys be on the lookout. I'm going to be playing Toke today, um, later on in the day. And um, that game should probably be posted tomorrow. That right there, you guys just saw an example of why Joe Hayden is no longer on my team. 
Mr. Brick Hands Hayden. Um, I, s I got rid of him, got the flashback Dominique Rogers Cromarty. Cromarty hasn't really made any plays yet just because he is in my slot. But I, when I send that edge, he, he gets in there fast. That 97 speed, he definitely gets in there fast. I was thinking about, um, actually, from that game with Cookie Boy, he has Sherman playing the slot. And what I was thinking about doing is actually putting Sherman to my slot and moving uh, Cromarty out on the outside. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing and just seeing how that plays out. But right there, we get the edge pressure on him again. And we stop him on fourth down. So here we, right there, oh my, what what kind of throw was that? And uh, he gets the sack. So he's he's playing great on defense too. Um, we're trying to get something right there. Oh my goodness, dotted him up, turn up field, and we get the first down. We're trying to put up some more points. We're trying to soften this lead. And look at that. Oh, what a dot, what a catch by Sanders. I'm telling you guys, get yourself a Sanders right there. We score the touchdown. So we're up by 11. Um, at this point, I'm pretty com confident, you know, pretty comfortable. Uh, we just, I mean, we just got him. If he scores, make sure he takes a lot of time doing it. He is doing a hurry up offense, but you know, we're we're just trying to contain him. We're trying to contain him right here. Look at this. Who, really, really? I had everything contained so well, and uh, right there, I'm trying to get there with my user, trying to get that pick. It's not happening. But uh, you know, we're we're playing good coverage. We're playing good coverage. We're Oh, right there. Pick that off so I can decline that penalty. But he's struggling. He's struggling. Third and 12. We have good coverage all around. And uh, he doesn't know what to do. He's just going to chuck that up right there. Keekly should have picked that off. But, you know, it's all right. Fourth and 12. We need a stop. We need a stop. He's trying to reroute. I have guys guarding the line, protecting the sticks. And we do a good job right there. I lob it up. I thought I had him beat. This is what I don't understand. I don't know if you guys have noticed. But the speed threshold in this Madden game is not really fair. What I mean by that is Emmanuel Sanders does 95 speed. How does Talib off the line? I'm like past him already, right? How does Talib from behind catch up to Emmanuel Sanders who has like 99 acceleration and 95 speed? That just makes no sense. If you guys have noticed, Chris Johnson, all the fastest guys in the league, get caught from behind by linebackers and defensive linemen in this game. Um, that's what I mean by the speed threshold isn't really... I mean, isn't really accurate. Nobody's going to catch Jamal Charles from behind. When Jamal Charles is in the open field, nobody's catching him from behind. Uh, we all know that. But uh, here we go. We get a nice little drag route to Gronkowski, and he breaks some tackles, and he gets a huge gain. We get a first down right there. And, uh, yeah, this game is definitely over. He kicked his field goal. You know, he got it within one possession, but I just keep picking up these first downs. And uh, I'm just going to score touchdowns. I don't like field goals. I'm going to score touchdowns. So we're doing pretty good. We we moved the ball. Um, it's a 15-point game. You know he has to score. He needs a two-point conversion. Uh, he knows exactly where to throw the ball. Though. That's what I noticed. He knows where to throw the ball, so my guys don't make a break on it. But you don't throw it at Sherman because Sherman is just as big as your receivers. So Sherman gets me the pick. But you know what? You were gonna keep scoring. <laughs> we're gonna keep scoring. When I get up against a high-caliber player like this, I want to put up as many points as I can. Uh, people that know him on Twitter, they know uh, how how solid of an opponent he is. So right there, we throw a pick. I mean, it was 30 and 18. Nothing really I could do. So you know, I just wanted to see if uh, if Talib play outplays Julio, and he does. This is that's what I mean. Like, there's no way that Talib is gonna keep up with Julio Jones. But you know what? It's Madden. What are you gonna do about it? And uh, right there, he keeps lobbing it up. Hayden finally gets the pick after I don't know how many times. And uh, we're going to see if we can get within scoring position again. Hayden fumbles, of course. You know, he can't he can't look too good for too long. He's going to fumble it right there. Sanders gets the grab. Uh, he tries to strip me. One second left. I take the timeout, and I'm going to take a shot at the end zone. And we get it to Jackson, so we're putting up even more points. So the final score is 42-20 to 20 of the first game. Uh, just so you guys know, we're playing for about 50K each game. Our first game was a wager for his Darnell Dockett uh, captain card. Second game was for uh, his Geno Atkins. So what I wanted to tell you guys about the second game is that he wanted Michael Vick. Uh, he was short about 30K, and he was selling his captain Harrison Smith. 
his captain Harrison Smith wasn't selling, uh, you know, like he was trying him to. So I saw he was pricing him cheap. Uh, he was pricing him about 10k under what the regular price is. Oh my God! Look at this play. Mike Vick breaks the sack, right? Breaks the sack, jukes around, breaks the tackle, and it's a 63-yard touchdown. But um, his Harrison Smith wasn't selling. So me being a good guy, I go out and buy his Harrison Smith so he can go out and buy Vick before our second game. And uh, right after the game, I ended up selling Harrison Smith. I have no need for him. He's not going to get any burn on my team. I have Earl Thomas. I'm happy with Earl Thomas there. You know, i got to represent my Hawks. The only reason I'm not wearing Seahawks jerseys in this game is because these Jets unis are too fresh. Um, I think I got him in my Cornucopia pack, actually. I think I did. But a nice grab right there by Gronkowski. If he's going to play me one-on-one -on -one with the safety, I'm going to lob it up to Gronkowski. Everybody knows that. Um, you know, if you have tall corners, I mean tall receivers, why not abuse them? People are always like, oh, why do people keep lobbing it up, keep lobbing it up? Because right there, look at that dab by Marino. Those are times where I love Marino. Um, that, that goal line fade to Jackson is money. If you guys have the coins, go pick yourself up a Captain Vincent Jackson. He has stats like Megatron, maybe not as fast. But if you get within the red zone and you throw up a goal line fade, it's money. Uh, and right there, we get a pick. Vontae Davis, Captain well, actually not captain, what am I talking about? MVP, Vontae Davis. Uh, great, great corner, actually. He is, I believe, my fourth string. He doesn't get a lot of burn. He doesn't see the field a lot. But, eh, you know, what What can you do? He makes, play, he makes plays every once in a while. I'll come out and dime every once in a while. Um, press, play underneath. And sometimes he'll, uh, you know, he'll, he'll make his plays. But uh, here we go. We're trying to put up a touchdown. And... Yeah, he was sitting there waiting for it. But he's on the one. That puts us in good position to do something. And no. We mess up. We mess up with our user. He hits that corner post. And uh, yeah, we just completely mess up. And right there, nice inside juke by him. But you know, at least we're keeping him contained. No big gains. That's the most important part. Right there, I thought I tackled him short. And I did third in inches. We're trying to bring some pressure. Michael Vick, thank you for the inaccurate throw. He goes for it on fourth in inches. We were looking around, oh my, how did he see him? I thought I had everything locked up. I thought we played good defense. I don't know how no pressure got in on him. And he hits me with that corner post again. Um, and right here, how does he, How does Mike Evans get away from, who was it, Joe Hayden? Joe Hayden has like 94 speed. And Mike Evans has, I believe, 89 See, that's what, I, that's what I mean. Like, speed does not make a difference in this game, really. I think it's more about acceleration. That's why Julio Jones just bursts off the line. He has great acceleration, great release. Uh, that's why that 24-hour Julio Jones is kind of a glitch. But right here, I saw him trailing behind, and Gronkowski does what Gronkowski do. Spike it for him, Gronkowski. But uh, here we go. It's a tie game right here. I'm following it. Got him locked up. No gain. Loss of a yard. So here we go. Oh my god, this Mike Evans is a problem. I don't like him because he has butter hands, but you know, when when he when he gets the ball, he uh he can make some plays. He can make some plays. Right here we make Vic fumble and he scoops it back up. So we're trying to get a stop. Third and six. We got everything locked down and that's the problem with Vic, that speed, man. It's killer. It's killer. Sometimes he throws inaccurate passes, though, so I don't know if it's worth it. We got everything locked down. He's looking around. He's looking around. Look at that dot going the opposite way. Floats it on the money. My corner cannot break on it. And his Vic is just balling out right now. Uh, one fumble. I didn't recover, though, so it doesn't really matter. So right here, he's looking. He's looking. We got everything pretty much locked up. Earl Thomas right there. Nice play on the ball. You guys see that leaping ability. Uh, that was over a 6-5 corner right there. I mean, wide receiver. God, I keep saying corner. But uh, right here, let's see if we can get a stop. He's going to do his cheese. And see right there, Mike Evans. Butterfingers. He's not going to catch it. So he ends up settling for the field goal with one second left after that miss. But uh, we get ball. If we can put up a touchdown, you know, I'll be happy being up by four against a solid opponent like this. And Amon Green do what Amon Green do. Here we go. We break it off for a big one. I'm not going to style on him. I respect this man's play. Uh, I only style on bums. Bums in head-to-head. -head. You know, that you're up like 35-0 and they just do not want to quit. It's like, man, is the struggle that really, really need your 1,500 coins? Uh, let me get this W and get out of here real quick. I'm on, this, I'm on the grind for these legacies, man. Three more and I got myself Shermworm. 
But uh, anyway, let's get back to this commentary. You see, I have everything pretty much locked up. And uh, Earl Thomas, man, pick that off, man. You have the surest hands. Oh, my God. Nice little curl route by him. Great route. I thought I was playing underneath. He just made a great stop, great throw, threw it right on the money. We're trying to get a stop right here. Make sure he doesn't break off anything big. If we hold him to field goals, I'm happy. If we hold him to field goals. Right there, he had a man wide open, but my pressure got there. It was a coverage sack. He didn't know what to do, where to throw the ball. And Earl Thomas right there. That's why we pay you the big bucks. Go and take it back on him. Thank you. Come again. Let's go. Earl Thomas and Mick. I mean, Vic almost got there, but no, we house it. So we are up by 11 at this point. We are very happy. And right there, Jimmy Smith, you are no longer on my team either. Look at that. It's floated right to your hands. Pick that off. And, I mean, we pretty much sealed this game off if you pick that off. So here we go. We're up by 11. We're in the fourth quarter. Bad user by me right there. Bad user. Again, he's hitting those, I mean, those post corners. And, and, I mean, it's hard. Right when they make that cut and he delivers the ball, it's really hard to keep up with that. Right here we have a spy. He's not going anywhere. He is not going anywhere. Fourth and eight. Let's see if we can get a stop. We get a fumble. Let's go. And what? What fat man wants it? Haloti Nada, let's go. Nada wants to eat. What a ball hawk. <laughs> let's go. We get a touchdown just like that. So this game quickly got out of hand. Uh, so it looks like we're going to be walking away with Geno Atkins. And right there, user hit stick. And we get the ball back again. I'm running. I thought I could scoop and score. But no. So let's see if we can put up another score. And yes, we do. Look how quickly this game could get out of hand. I have put up... a close to 28 points in the fourth quarter uh he's had enough of it he doesn't i mean there's really no point of wasting two and a half more minutes of each other's lives so he's just gonna quit out uh we're gonna go find his cards and we're gonna offer on him you guys don't forget in a couple days i'll be giving away that darnell docket and what is the other card Gosh, I just don't remember. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what the other card was. Leave your gamer tag down below. Hit a like. Share the videos. And um, I will pick somebody at random. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter yet, go do that. That will be the best way to reach me if you guys want to play a wager match or anything like that. But uh, there you guys have it. Great games. Throw a thumbs up. Subscribe. Until next time. Peace.